Hello everyone, I'm Win Boyce. Today, I'm going to tell you about the government of the heaven, the cosmic engineering system written by Rekha. The heaven, which the human race vaguely recognizes is called the spiritual hierarchy of the heaven in terms of universal language. The earth belong to a galaxy whose name is Nevadon. The organization of the universe, which manages about 3,600 planets and stars near the solar system, is called the Spiritual Hierarchy of the Heaven, in short, SHH, or simply the Heaven. The Spiritual Hierarchy of the Heaven is a sort of administrative system. So many planets and stars, roughly 3,600, including the Earth, are managed by the advanced engineering technology of the universe. They are as following in the 18th hierarchy of cosmic dimension. The heaven in the seventh dimension consists of 1,600 high-tech computer systems. One of them is the Conscious Implementation System, in short, CIS, of the seventh dimension. The heaven in the ninth dimension consists of 540 high-tech computer systems. One of them is the Monano system in the ninth dimension. All these high-tech computer systems in the ninth dimension are connected and process information about planets and stars. The heaven in the eleventh dimension is called the Committee of Incarnation or the Committee of Karma. The heaven in the eleventh dimension has engineering technology which controls and manages information of the seventh and ninth dimension. It is called the Pandronic system. All the 3,600 planets and suns are managed and supervised by the network of 12 Pandronic systems. This is the secret of the heaven, which have been unclear to the human race. The Archangel Gabriel is the head of the spiritual hierarchy of the heaven. He directs and supervises all the tasks efficiently. The 15 angel group is in the form of energy body and in service with their best efforts. The heaven supervises the astral plane in fifth dimension and control the following special beings, the angels in the light and in the darkness, dragons and ghosts. All of them are supervised and managed by the perfect control system. The heaven eliminates any errors of program. Also, the variables which might distort the processing of program is getting rid of. The higher selves, angels, and special beings are all in the harmony of oneness. They are granting all things which could happen in the fourth dimension. They let all the lives in the earth roll out. The heaven is steering the wheel of the cosmos by the rule and principles of the heaven. The grand universe is full of the energy of love, mercy, and charity. By this energy, every system of the universe is operated and circulated. Sometimes, the events which happen in the world might appear to be unreasonable, absurd, paradoxical, 
and incomplete. But those things are allowed to happen just as for the spirit soul. There is a lesson and value to be learned from those things. The visible world is just the unfolding under the accurate rule and perfect control of the invisible world, unfolding without any errors. The heaven looks heartless and indifferent, but once the invisible rule of energy hidden in the heaven is figured out, then we could fully understand that every being's love is in the full oneness. The Creator's love, the Heaven's love, the Angel's love, the Higher Self's love. The visible world is unfolding of the invisible world. The human race will get to realize the great love of the cosmos. This message is given as a gift to the ones who are awakened and spiritually mature. March 25th, 2016, Rudeka writes, translated by Windboys. Thank you for listening. See you next Monday. Bye.